ओके आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम डिसेंड एट ओएस इज बैक विद द लेटेस्ट अपडेट विद द जून सिक्योरिटी पैच द न्यू अपडेट इज आउट इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट अ मंथ व्हेन डिसेंड एट ओएस लास्ट अपडेट वाज देयर बट यस डिसेंड एट ओएस इज एंड वाज ऑलवेज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूनिक कस्टम रूम्स आउट देयर दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव राइट नाउ यस इट्स बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड 12.1 एज एक्सपेक्टेडली विद द जून सिक्योरिटी पैच इज व्हाट वी हैव एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑफिशियल वर्जन आई डोंट थिंक सो एनी ऑफ द डिवाइसेस हैव द अनऑफिशियल वर्जन येट बिकॉज़ डिसेंडेंट इज क्लोज सोर्स एज फार एज आई नो so yes you already has the official version if your device has so then go and install this thing the first change which we have noticed after installation of this one as expectedly if you are able to see the new widgets this is something very interesting now you don't need google widgets to use these weather and clock widgets the first widget which we have about is this clock called picasso this is a widget which we have this is called community clock and yes this is a widget so which means whenever you change wallpaper the color for this widget will change unfortunately i tried resizing it you can't you can simply place it top bottom or etc but you can't resize it unfortunately but still it's not a big deal another wallpaper and another widget which we have is the weather widget the weather widget in my personal opinion i like a lot of course the uh, clock widget is not that good but yes the weather widget seems to be super great if you go to the weather option this is the new widget which we have and this widget looks quite interesting one if you want to use this thing you can and yes this weather widget is this what you can resize even if you want to so yes this option is available and yes this was the first change which we have about the clock widget and weather widget which is now included in this latest update and descendant of this latest june update of course if we move on to some other things let me show you one thing that we have the updates option available in what's new so if you want to take a look at the change log which are the new things added what are the bug fixes security and improvements you can find out in this inbuilt app which is called what's new as you can see we have all the features improvements bug fixes everything is there so if you want to find out something is new or something which i have missed you can definitely find out here If we move on to the quick settings panel as expectedly it has almost same kind of UI with the previous versions you also have the data dashboard available which might be helpful for you to find out your wifi usage and sim usage and as expectedly the network speed indicator is also there another new change which we found here is the descendant sounds and my personal opinion this seems awesome already the descendant sounds or like ringtone descendant mix is actually quite good whenever i use descendant ways i use this default one this looks quite good but now we have some extra ringtones available for you so whichever you find comfortable with you can use that if you move on to the notification option now we have the dynamic sound options available so if you want to use dynamic sounds you can use this as you can see the ui seems to be quite quite interesting alongside with these dynamic sounds you can even use the static sounds if you want to so both of the options are available both of the options are actually as available as a choice so whichever you find comfortable with you can use that and alarm linktons as expected you already there it is about the changes which we have and some few of the unique things are already present in descendant ways if you move on to the settings app and try to find for example if you move on to the apps etc we have game space so i'm not going to talk about the game space actually game space is already present there if you move on to the battery options you have the option to customize the battery stats for example let me just turn on my mobile data first if i check out this battery settings you have the option to view usage for the past 24 hours or the last full charge and you can even customize the battery indicator so few of the options some useful things are already present if you move on to the display section now if we move on to this ambient notification lights you have a lot of extra things alongside with that if you move on to the lock screen and check out the lock screen clock style now we have the new clock available this is called sony aligned and yes this is what i was using at the lock screen as you just saw at the starting of that widget the widget is also with the lock screen clock that is called community clock that's already there and alongside with that yes we have the same kind of things like pin lock pattern lock fingerprint face unlock everything everything is already there so nothing to worry about app lock as expectedly it's still not there but yes that's not a big deal a lot of users use that a lot of users don't use that so it's users own opinion own preference if we move on to the system system gestures etc as expectedly some icons which you can hide or unhide some basic things in gestures quickly open camera three finger screenshot already there and the gestures magic where you can use the call related gestures 
gestures and media related gestures which were available previously too these were things which we have and descendant os is and was already one of the most unique customers out there if you want to install this thing official website link is already available in the description if you find this video useful for you make sure to like this video also share this with among others and don't forget to subscribe the channel goodbye